Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to create a sample REST API testing project. So this is going to be a series on creating a sample REST API testing project with Catalon Studio and this is the first session of this series. And here we are going to see how to do API request addition, how to add verification snippets, how to add API request addition to test cases and how to use web services keyword for our API testing. This is going to be very easy and very interesting and in the coming session I will also discuss how to do parameterization, how to add variables, how to do data driven testing and many more features of API testing in Catalon Studio. So let's get started and I will open my Catalon Studio and as of now I am using the version 5.8.4 and here I'm going to go to file new and going to create a new project and I will name it as sample rest API testing project and I will click on this API web services and as of now I'm going to create a blank project and I will say OK. So this will create a new project in Catalon Studio and here is the project and we get an option to add our rest or soap apis as of now i will just close this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some sample api so i will say sample rest api for testing if you already have your apis you can use them this is for sample so i will take this reqres.in and let me go here so this website has some sample apis that i can use for testing and here you can see we have some sample APIs here we have get, post, put, patch, delete and all these APIs so I am going to add some APIs to my Catalon Studio let me check this list user which is a get API and here is the endpoint so I will copy this URL and go here and then I will copy the rest of the endpoint from here for this API and I will again put this here and let me hit this and see and yes I am getting a response so I am going to use this URL or endpoint so I will go to object repository and here I am going to create a new folder and I will say this is rest web services and say ok and inside this I am going to add a new web service request and I will name this as list users and this is the URL and say OK. So this will add our API here and here you can see here we have the option to give the HTTP action which is get and then this is the URL and in case our API has some parameters we can add it here so you can see after question mark I have one parameter which is page equals to and that has already come here in the query parameters and then if you go down you have this option for authorization if you have any authorization for the API you can add it here like for example basic authorization we will add username password in my case it does not require any authorization so I will say no authorization HTTP headers for the request we can add here and in case of post or put we can add the HTTP body here this is the verification snippets that we will see in a moment and then variables that we will see in the later section. So as of now in my API I do not have any authorization or body or header so I can directly run it from here. So I will hit on this run button and let us see the output. So this is sending the request and yes you can see I am getting the response here. In the response I am getting the status 200 which is okay this is the time taken this is the size of the response and then I have body and then headers of the response and verification log will come when we add any verification here as of now this is empty and I can view it in pretty format raw format or preview and here again I can have multiple formats like XML HTML JavaScript and JSON so my request is working fine let me quickly add some more APIs so I will uh, add a post rest service here this is for creating a user so again I will copy this URL and put it here and copy the rest of the endpoint from here and have it here and this I am going to 
add in Catalon Studio. So I will again create a new web service request which is create user. This is RESTful web service. This is the URL and say OK. And here I have got this. Now here I need to add a HTTP body. So I am going to copy this from here and I will add it. So first I have to uh, change the HTTP post here and then only I will have this HTTP body enabled and I am going to add this and I will click on JSON. So once I click on JSON, if you go back to HTTP headers, you will see a header called content type is already created with the value application JSON and there is no authorization. I am keeping it blank and I have this body here. Let me try to run this and check if everything is okay. So this is sending the request and you can see this has given us the output and we have got 201 which is a successful creation status, the elapsed time, the size and then body, header and all the details are here. So this is created. If I change the name here, let me say this and try to run it again. I should get this name created as a user in the response. So yes, you can see everything is working fine. Now I can also add some more APIs, but that I will add later. As of now, I have these two APIs and what I need to do is I have already done API request addition. I can add some verification snippets in Catalon Studio, which is very straightforward. So if I go to this API, I can go to the verification tab here and you can see we have this snippets which can directly be added as verification checkpoints to our APIs. For example, if I want to check status code is 200, I will click here and you can see here it has added this snippet to check the status code is 200 and then there are other snippets that I can add. If you want to get a variable, if you want to check response body contains some particular string or response body JSON value check, all this can be added. One more thing that you can do is here, if I want to just check that the last name for this particular element is Morris, I can go here, click on this element and press command plus K key on my keyboard. If you are on Mac, if you are on Windows, you can press control and key, K key combination and you can see a verification snippet is added here and let me show you this. Here it says verify element property value is the keyword it has used and then response which is coming from here and then this is the JSON path of this particular element and this is checking and verifying the value is Morris. So this is how you can create verification snippets. Similarly for this API as well, I can just create some verification. So I can just check that the status code is 200 which actually will fail because here we are getting 201 so I will change it here let me just go here and change this to 201 and here as well and if I want to check the name is equals to Rakov here I can again go here and press Control plus K key on my keyboard or command and K in case of Mac and you can see again this verification is added here now in this case I will first save it and now here if I want to run it along with verification I will go to this drop down besides the run button and select test request and verify this will run our verifications as well and then we will also get a verification log so this is now sending our request and you can see this is fine and if I go to verification log everything is passed and all our verifications are successful similarly here I can just go and say test request and verify and this will run our verifications along with our request and you can see this has run and in the verification log everything is successful so this is how we can add verification snippets very quickly in Catalon Studio and now we will need to add our API to our test cases now there are two ways of doing this you can go to test cases and right click create a new test case I will say this is sample test 1 and say ok and here you can just say here 
send request so this is a web service keyword you can add it from here you will also get a drop down you can select it from here or you can go to this keywords explorer or keywords browser go to built-in keywords go to web services keywords and here you will find all the keywords for request we have two keywords send request and then send request and verify the difference is send request will only send our request and get the response whereas send request and verify will also run the verification snippets that we added in our apis so these are the two keywords and then the object we will add from here you can double click here and then select the api or you can drag and drop it from here so list users i will just drag and drop it from here so let me first add the keyword again yes and I will drag and drop this one here and that's it also you can go to your API and here you can find this plus button if you click here it will ask you to create a test case or you can click on this drop down and say add to existing test case and I will select this and say ok and you can see it has come here uh, although it has overridden the earlier request so I can add it from here again I will just use this and that's it if I go to the script view you can see both of these requests are there let me take it to step number two and yes so this is how you can add it and of course I can save and run my test now if I run this it will run both of these APIs and give me the result so this is running and here you can see the log viewer and everything is ok everything is passed so you can add to your test cases and then I have already shown you how you can use web services keywords you can find web services keywords from here and whenever you hover over any keyword you will get this information icon you can click on this icon and it will take you to the documentation of that particular keyword so like this click here it will take you to the documentation and here you can see you can get the documentation for that particular keyword so this is how you can start your rest api testing project in catalon studio in the coming session we will see more features of rest api testing in catalon studio i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching